Hey everybody, this is Pokemaster Cam here with my Monday video update. So just that don't mind the mess in the background. <laughs> so this week for my Monday video, I have prepared a 3DS game collection update. So if you want to go watch um, the first part of this video, I'll put an annotation on all somewhere around there or there, or you can alternatively just go to my channel and find the video or go to the description. I will put a link to it. So let's go start this update. So first game I have since my last video, my last collection update is Theater Rhythm and Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, this game is great. I haven't played many Final Fantasy games. I've played seven and thirteen one and thirteen two. And so this game was pretty fantastic. The music is great. You don't really have to be a huge Final Fantasy fan to appreciate great video game music. And I love this game. I love this box. Because when you open it up, you're getting these little characters in there. And they give you if you pre-ordered it, you got a stylus and you could change the character on it. I put Cloud on mine. And yeah, it's a loads of fun. And there's a lot of music. You can get some DLC. It's kind of RPG-ish. You level up your characters and, you know, they get some different skills, like you can heal a little bit of health, so. Um, it's not, if you're looking for an RPG, that's not the game you want to buy. Uh, but if you are into music games, that is a great game. And following up from, and continuing the trend of Square Enix games, we have Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. This game was great. Um, it's what you'd expect from any Kingdom Hearts game. You got your Disney characters, you got, uh, you know, your some familiar enemies, and the graphics are great. It has great 3D effect. Now let's open up the box. And again, I love when the games do this inside the box. And it came, it comes with AR cards, so you got your, your Dream Eaters here. And each one of these Dream Eaters serves as a companion, kind of like uh, Donald and Goofy in the other games. And you can use your AR, car AR cards to take pictures and play some games with them. So it's a great game, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who has 3DS. Um, this is not a Square Enix game. This is New Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, I was very hyped for this game. It's good, but it's not um what I expected. It's not as good as I hoped for it. I mean, the coins after a while just became kind of a novelty and a gimmick. The one million coin reward was not worth it, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna spoil what it is in case you know you're do in the process of getting it. So you know, I'm not gonna ruin that. And what I was very disappointed in that is that in the states, we in the U.S. and Canada, we were the only ones that didn't get the gold box. And I was extremely disappointed from that. So you, get, you got a boring manual. It's not like a actual manual. Just one of those little fold-out ones that they keep doing. And there's my limited edition Pikachu 3DS. Now, on the other hand, this next game I was blown away by. I didn't have high hopes going into this since, you know, they... They've removed very, a lot of key features from the other uh, games in the franchise. And that is Paper Mario Sticker Star. Um, in this game, they got rid of companions that you had in the other games. Like you had Goombella, etc. from the other games. And uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door was one of my all-time favorite games. And so I was really hyped for the next Paper Mario game. And this game is great. The graphics are good. The 3D effect looks amazing. Um, and you can really tell that th this game is a lot more papery than the other Paper Mario games. And again, you don't get the cool manual, you just get this little fold-out one that's kind of boring. And this is one of my favorite 3DS games, you should definitely pick this up. And this game, <laughs> it's so much fun. It's a love letter to retro gamers. This is Adventure Time, Hey Ice King, Why Do You Steal Our Garbage? Loads of fun. It's very short. I beat it about four hours. And then I beat it again on the New Game Plus. The humor is exactly what you'd expect from Adventure Time. It's a lot of fun. Definitely pick this up. I mean, it goes for $30 if you just want the game. 
itself, but I bought the Collector's Edition one, which came with a Finn's Golden Sword Styles, the Enchiridion, and a poster. And it is very great. I love that game. And next up here, we have Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh my god, words cannot describe how good this game is. There's so much to do. Like, right now it's my second most played 3DS game with 115 hours. And I'm still not bored of it. I'm playing it and I'm just having so much fun with it. And, oh my god. Just, just buy this game. Just go, stop watching this video, go buy it. It is great. Oh my god. It's so good, I don't even know what, what I can say about it. Because there's nothing I can say can justify how good this game is. I mean, you're playing as... Um, you're playing as the Shepherds, which is Krom's army here, and yeah, so your, your character, your avatar, um, is, I don't want to spoil anything, but basically you wake up when you have no memories, and then you are saved by Krom, who takes you in, and you become one of the Shepherds, and you, uh, yeah, you fight in his army, and the game is so good, it's, I, you can make your characters marry each other and they get some waifus and they get kids and it's just loads of fun. Next game here is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate is probably the best version of Monster Hunter 3. I have never played a Monster Hunter game before until this one. And I didn't have very high hopes but I am enjoying this. I haven't played it as much as I hope I could play it. Just because of, you know, you can see all the other games I've been playing. And it's a lot of fun. I'd probably recommend getting the version on the, the Wii U, it's a little better, the graphics and uh, having that dual analog stick is just great. And next up is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. This game has been getting terrible reviews, I don't know why, but uh, actually most Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games did, but I like them a lot. The stories are great, this one had a little bit of a less story lesser story than the other Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, but it is still fantastic. The, the production value in this game is great, the graphics are so amazing, all of these little models are so adorable. I chose um, Oshawa as my character and Pikachu as my partner, and I'm having loads of fun. I just beat it two days ago. Um, nothing much to do really after you beat the game, other than do some jobs and make Paradise bigger, but... Uh... Yeah, it's, a lo it's loads of fun. And the final game I have on my list here is um, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is... Um, the this is the game that start started off the year of Luigi. Um, so yeah, I am not done this game. I'm currently working on it. And I'm having loads of fun with it. Luigi is hilarious. He, um... The toads are hilarious too, I'm having loads of fun playing this game. And yeah, so I played the original Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, which was one of my favorite GameCube games, and I was extremely disappointed because there were, it was more than 10 years without a, you know, a Luigi game, but we finally got our game, all, our, all us Luigi fans are now happy. Oh no, I forgot one game. I forgot about this game. This is Epstein Odyssey 4 Legends of the Titan. And I didn't get this game the day it came out. I waited a little while because the store that I usually buy my games from were out of game of copies of this game with the soundtrack and art book. So I waited till I could find a store that had a copy that comes with the soundtrack and art book. And I finally found one and I'm having loads of fun with this game. The dialogue is funny, the characters are amazing, the artwork is great, it's all hand-drawn, and the music is great. That's one of my favorite parts about this game, is the music. And I did have an unboxing of this, but, um, I don't know, I just didn't upload it, I don't know why. I think it was because something happened, I don't know, with the video, when I was rendering it, it got bleh, or something, I don't know. But yeah, definitely recommend picking this game up. It's a dungeon crawler. And it's great. I'm having loads of fun with it. So I de definitely recommend picking this game up. So that's uh, what I have done for you guys this Monday. 
next Monday. I don't know what I will have planned, but look forward to it, and I will see you guys next time.